Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to the channel. We're going to check out Breach Wanderers. It's still in early access. It's also available on Steam, but it is on iOS and I believe on the Google Play Store as well. So, let's see what happens. I first saw this on Retromation's channel, so on and so forth. As you can see here, Breach Wanderers is a deck building game. It has pretty high ratings, and it's about 500 megabytes, 554 as you can see here, and it's rated ages 9 plus. I don't think I noticed anything objectionable for parents. Uh, I think it's just complicated enough that you probably wouldn't want younger kids to play it. So, other than that, there are also, I believe, in-app payments? Yeah. So that's another thing to check out if you are worried. Once again, let's go back into the game, shall we? So, options, we can check fast mode, hmm, performance mode, small user interface, oh, interesting. I'd prefer it large, I think, just because my old eyeballs might need some help these days. I remember when I could look at a normal Game Boy in the sun and look at it. Nowadays, no. <laughs> Without further ado, let's dive into the breach, shall we? Okay, so we have a map legend, kind of Slate Spire type, figuring out your path. Oh, wait, multiple bosses? Okay. Hmm. And then a big boss at the end. All right, who is my hero? Looks like it's a mage of some sort with chilling focus and all that. Okay, okay. I think we get it. Hmm. Don't know what these things are yet. Okay, you can rest whenever. That's interesting. Hmm. Let's maybe see what this event is. Welcome to your first combat. We will now take you through the basics of the combat system. This is where you will see your current character health, shields, and status effect. When you receive a status effect, you can click your character to read more. This is your mana. You need it to use most of your cards. There is no need to spend all of your mana in one turn. Your excess mana remains between rounds. So unlike needing ice cream and Slay the Spire or something like that, uh, you can have, I believe, right now, up to 14 mana if you hold on to it. Because of that plus 4 at the right. This is your hand. You can play these cards this turn. You draw cards from your deck on the left. Played cards go to your discard pile on the right. When your deck is empty, your discard pile will be shuffled back into your deck. Drag a card to the battlefield to play it. Click and hold a card in your hand, and a detailed pop-up about it will appear. Good luck. Okay. So, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, we gain mana with the mana shield. Gain four shield if played after a mana card, which I believe... Yeah, these are both mana cards. So, we could play one, and then... Oh, or we could do focus first. And this gives us more mana if we have no mana. Okay, okay. Piercing damage. 80% of its maximum frost. So we want to stack frost before using that. This applies a bunch of frost. Hmm. If I remember correctly, I think it's 10 frost the first time you freeze something. Then it's like 15, etc, etc. Elites, it's a higher initial bar to freeze. But yeah, let's start with a little bit of focus. And a mana shield. Mana shield. And then we can Ice Blast something. Uh, you have a grabby hand, so we'll go for you first, I guess. And then Pierce. Okay. And as you can see, yeah, 20 out of 10 Frost has been applied. The target will gain Frozen 2 at the moment. Anna and Elsa aren't here to save you. Okay, Lore Blossom. Next action support. It will buff itself. Yeah. And I should have probably checked what you were doing, Thornberry, but I think we're fine. All right. I've got 18 shield now. And it goes back down to 10. Okay, and what are you doing? Death spores. Okay, apply one power per rank to each ally on death. So yeah, I'm glad I went for the other one first. Okay. Oh, but you are doing a 7 damage attack. You're just buffing yourself. So if we can do minor damage immediately, that would be nice. Does this do 12 damage to any enemy and 6 damage to all enemies? Yeah, so we want to do something like this. So 12 and then 6 to all. Okay, chilling action. Focus stuff. Could do that. 
apply 12 frost. That works, that works. We don't need to mend ourselves. So I think what we want to do, so that we get the most out of our chilling focus... Oh, never mind. This is not the one that gives me 2 plus 2 if I'm at 0 uh, for mana. So, we will chill. Chillax broke. Then we do that. Chilling focus anyway. And we don't need to spin to mend. So we should be up to 8 mana, I believe, this time. No? Oh, we get plus 4 mana per turn. Okay, never mind. Hmm. Hmm. So I'm not sure how much we can overcharge. But we can't overcharge our mana. As we saw before, we went up to 12 once upon a time. So mana shield. Magic blast will just win. Eh. I just... I'll just blast. Blasting off again. Okay, so now we can choose a card. We're getting some golden things, gems. There is meta progression in this game, so outside of your runs, you can get more benefits and bonuses for your next run. And energy, if I remember correctly, is kind of like an upgrade, I think? Ah, yes, because you can choose whether or not to risk it or leave with the stuff you've gained, I think. Hmm. Shatter. Deal 12 damage to any enemy. Free if it's frozen. Draw one shatter whenever an enemy becomes frozen. That seems really good. And then, an interesting mechanic in this game is every monster has its own unique card. Uh, so, Corrupted Blast. You give Vulnerable 2 to the first two enemies. Deal 6 damage to them. And Vulnerable is plus 25% damage. Okay. Oh, and it increases status effect, too. Hmm. I think Shatter is probably what we're going to go for. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's keep building towards the frost aspect, I think. Then we get an event. As you walk around a small curve in the forest path, you immediately notice a group of small munch rooms. They are already looking directly towards you, but they are not making any aggressive move. So, I have seen this event in somebody else's playthrough, so let's walk through. They are curious as you walk around them. A tall-looking one approaches you and points to your trinkets. Then it shows you a small bag with some gold in it. Are you trading with plants now? You'll need at least one trinket to trade. Oh, I have nothing. Unmoved or bored, the creatures slowly run away and hide, one by one. You're left to your own thoughts about why these ones were not aggressive. At least your artifact gathered aether energy from the close creatures. Oh, okay. That's a nice little... gift. Okay. Hmm. So if I'd had a trinket, I could have traded. But oh well. Oh well. I think trinkets might be passive bonuses. Like relics. In Slave's Pile, which I keep mentioning. Could do Mana Shield. We could Frost. So you have a shield, right? Or you're doing that next turn? I think you have it right now. Whereas we want to stop you from attacking. Hmm. So I think what we want to do is gain a bunch of shield first, and then we can chill you. We gain our shatter, we can use it for free, and then we can Ice Blast, just get rid of you. And then we'll just save. Okay, so your shield doesn't get removed like mine does. That's not the best thing ever for me. Gain 12 shield, which is... We've already got 10. Hmm. Let's apply a little bit of frost for free. Draw shield. Uh, I don't really feel a need to use pierce or anything, so I will just block. And that should be good enough for now. Yes, it was. Okay. And then we gain 4 mana. We're at 12 again. Hmm. Focus is what we want to use last. Okay, he did lose a little bit of frost, so that's important to note. Hmm. So yeah, we should be able to do chilling focus, ice blast. We did do 20 damage to it. It lost shield though, not health. Then we can shatter for free. It's great that that just pops out wherever it is in your deck. 
so you don't have to keep looking for it. And we'll do 18 damage with that. And then we're not at zero, but we'll just gain in a little bit of mana. Right there. Ooh, and I get my Shatter again? That is pretty great. I guess because it rechecks if they're frozen. And since we went so far over their limit before, we have the 15 frozen for this turn. Cool, cool. Let's see. Choose card. Flash Brawn. Gain Powerful. Hmm. Damage and status applied by one per rank. Not reduced at end of turn. So, that should mean if we use that, our cards that gave three frost should do eight each, which seems pretty good. Mind Shield helps us card draw, gain growth. Hmm. Increase your maximum mana. One extra mana every turn for every six rank. Max plus four. Not reduced to end of turn. Huh. I think I'm going to go Flash Brawn here, actually. Which might be terrible, since I don't know how tough the bosses are. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, I think we try this. With a bit of luck, you spot a small hidden cache of supplies near your path. Loot! While you inspect what you found, a group of assorted plant creatures charges at you. Defend yourself. Okay. What do we have here? Other than a lot of stuff to fear. Uh, 19 damage. And are you also decreasing... <gasps> yes, you will debuff me. Okay. Well... We can prevent that. Hmm. So I think what we want to do is this. Then that, because this is actually more damage. We can prevent the debuff or prevent the damage. I think we do that to prevent the damage. We can shatter for some good damage as well. Okay. Hmm. Well then. I think I want to do eight here. And then we'll just go ahead and get rid of you. And deal a little bit of damage to everything. Get some mana. Call it a turn. Ah, oh, we took poison. Ugh. There's our first health damage. Ugh. All right. Well then, we can chilling focus for free. That just seems good. Ah, oh, we're not going to go down to zero. So there's kind of no worries for the rest of our days. Hmm. Okay. So apparently we don't regenerate our shield every turn. We just always have. Only up to 10 stick around. Okay. At the moment. With no modifiers and stuff. Um, then, uh, what, do we, what do we want? We'll just do that, I think. I could pierce for like 3 damage. Wait, what? 8 damage? Why 8? Hmm. Oh, because it's of their maximum frost. Right, right, right. Okay. Well, we'll do it. We'll do it. Okay, and I took four damage from the poison. Okay, you have death spores, so we want to kill you last. Hmm. Take one fixed damage per rank at end of turn, then reduce ranks to half round down. So it went from four to two. Okay. Oh, and they ignore bonuses or penalties from items, buffs, and debuffs. Okay. I could flash brawn to try to get some more stuff done. Yeah, that seems good. We can then chill. This is a skill. Yeah, I think we do this. We get our free shatter. I can mend if I wish. Gets us back to full for, you know, a little bit. An ice blast. I think we will go ahead and just kill. And mana shield. Okay. Oh, the poison went for my shield first. Oh. Shields? Are good. Enough said. Uh, we could mana blast for like 18 ish damage. 13 because of the 5 shield. Hmm. We'd rather block. That's for certain. So we're gonna do a little bit of block. A little bit of mana. And then we have choices. So 13 plus 8. Is that enough? No. 
Uh, it might have been if I hadn't blocked. But you know what? You know what? We will not regret decisions that keep us alive. That's what I'm going to say about that, at least. Hmm. Flash Brawn doesn't really help us too much. Wait, does Powerful go away? Oh, yeah, it's just for this turn. Okay. But we can do this. Get our Shatter. Finish it. Okay. I thought Brawn would stick around. But Brawny doesn't stick around. Okay, we can equip an item. Hmm. Create two can blasts. Trinkets with an active ability can be used like a card once per combat. That seems good. I like cannons when they're not aimed at me. Okay, toxic spores. Give poison five to all enemies. Increase this value by five. So every time you play it, it gets better. Mind blast. Deal damage to any enemy equal to 70% of your maximum mana. Damage modifiers are halved for this card. So it will gain less and also be debuffed less, I guess? Hmm. Oh, we can get a cleansing shield. That seems pretty good. Let's get a cleansing shield. Since we've seen poison, and we don't know what the boss is going to have. Okay, so we faced a normal enemy before. Let's try to face the munchrooms that are evil. So yes, we have a trinket with an active skill. Simply drag the card onto the screen to use it. Active trinkets provide you with a card that can be used for free once per fight. Okay, so create two can blasts. Let's see, if I just click and hold, it'll pop up. Okay, it's six mana. Deal eight damage to any enemy. Apply eight arcane to it. Reduce cost by one when you play a non-mana, non-can card. Temporary, so it should go away after you play or discard it. So yeah, it'll go away immediately if you don't use it immediately. Uh, we kind of want to hmm, have a bunch of mana when we use it, basically. And then have enough cards that we can decrease the cost of each cannon. And then we can potentially deal 16. Okay, okay. Seems decent. Let's flash brawn. I don't need a cleansing shield at the moment. 17 frost. 8 frost. Hmm. You're a mana card. Okay, so let's do... Yoink! Chilling focus, mana shield, shatter. And, okay, one thing to note is this will not show you that this costs zero against the frozen guy if you, uh, you know, don't go with your combo immediately. But it will show you it's zero when you target the right character with it. Okay. We move on. I am Poisson. Hmm. What to do next, then? So now, the maximum is higher on your Frost. So yeah, we can deal 12 damage instead of 8 now. Hmm. So I think what we want to do... is Pierce. Pierce. Ice Blast. Shatter. Focus, Mana Shield. So yeah, that gets us back up to 6, which is pretty good. Uh, our shield takes the poison damage, thank goodness. And now, we just start blasting. Let's see what this cannon looks like. Okay. Oh, so just pulling it in decreases it by 1? Okay. Hmm. Once again, they're temporary. So if I was going to... This is a mana card, so that won't decrease it. So, okay. We'll just, we'll just blast them. Victory. But as you can see, temporary. They're gone after combat. Got ripped in half. Okay. Icy Chains. Give weak to any enemy. Apply frost to it. Equal to 25% of your max mana. So that's one reason why you might want to increase your max mana. Hmm. What does Fatigue do again? Debuff. Gain one rank every time you draw five extra cards. Hmm. Increases the cost of non-mana cards drawn by one per rank every time they are drawn. At end of turn, lose all ranks. So you can... Hmm. This might be good with our Cannon Blast, though. Okay. Trigger Leech one time on the first two enemies. Give them permanent Leech. Oh. So we know Frost is a debuff. 
That's only like two damage a turn. It's not bad though, but I think I'd rather take mana with our cannons. Okay. We'll try that. We'll try that. And now we have a boss. Hello. And I believe there are ascension ranks for this game, so once again, if you go through runs, you're finding it a little easy, you should be able to make them more difficult as you unlock higher difficulties. Vessel of Impulse. Next action, attack. Apply shock. Huh. Applying shock will fill the target's shock bar. When it's filled, the target will be shocked and take 100% bonus damage from the next attack. That sounds scary. Hmm. I don't think I like that. But your bar is pro Oh, we started with shatter? No. Okay. Uh, what we're gonna do... Hmm. We can freeze you. Which seems fine. So we'll chilling focus. Chill. Shatter is free now. We can pierce for 12. So this doesn't upgrade the maximum frost until next turn. Which makes sense. Uh, and then I mana shield just for the mana pretty much. Yeah. 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 Okay. We'll take it. Okay, now you're at 25. Hmm. That might be difficult to reach. Ice Blast is 20. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hmm. You're just buffing yourself. Hmm. I could do 18 to you. And then we can Ice Blast, and then we can focus for a little bit more mana. I guess that's worth it. I'm just, yeah. Thinking it's not great, but it's not terrible. We don't need a Cleansing Shield or a Block, so we're going to save that mana for a rainy day. Okay. Hmm. Okay, this seems like a decent turn for our Blast, if we can't get enough chill, which it... Actually, we can. So let's do Flash Brawn. Chilling Focus. Yo. Okay, then we get our free Shatter, which is now 17 damage with our Flash Brawn. That's, that's a decent combo, isn't it? Hmm, okay. And uh, then we can Pierce for 23. Okay, I can afford one hand cannon or both, I think. Ah, uh, we've got our Flash Brawn, yeah. Let's, let's do this. They become five, which is why, yeah. Now we can do this. 13 Arcane. Oh, okay. Wait, Arcane. Hmm. We should probably take a better look at Arcane. Yeah. Except there. Arcane? Okay, no. Well, fine. Uh, we're going to use Weary Concentration. Fatigue Tutorial. You have just drawn many cards in a single turn. You've been applied one rank of the Fatigue Debuff. Increase the cost of all non-mana cards drawn for a turn. So our current cards will not increase. Future ones will. And then... Of course, we can see how much fatigue we've got and how many cards we've drawn. Okay. So we're going to do this, and this should be the case. Wonderful. Oh, that went very well. So yes, this is a free-to-play game, and this is one thing you will have to note. Popping up, apparently. Okay, protective crystal trinket, fix shield gain on status. Hmm. Okay, we could just discard it for more energy, but I don't think I need more energy. Right? So, yeah, we'll just take it. Okay. Uh, upgrade one. Hmm, what's our upgrade look like for this? Don't know. I would like to upgrade Shatter. That's just four more damage pretty much most of the time. Uh, what about... Hmm... We can double the frost and get some more mana out of Chilling Focus. But yeah, I think Shatter is our go-to. Flash Brawn. Can we make you cheaper? No, you get a little bit better, but you're not cheaper. So yeah. Uh, what about Weary Concentration? More mana and more fatigue. Hm. It's an interesting proposition, but let's just make Shatter better. Because it's free when we get it to work. Which is one of them. And we can remove a card, which will probably be 
not chill. Hmm. We almost don't need mend, but I'm kind of scared to remove it. I think we get rid of one of our mana shields. Since we don't need the shields quite as much, since we have better shields yet. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll do that, and then choose a card. Frost Fracture. Give Crystallize 12 this turn to any enemy if it's frozen. Create one temporary pierce and retain. So that seems pretty interesting. Blizzard, trigger Frostbite two times on all enemies. Apply 20 Frost to them and give them Frostbite three. Sounds really good, but we need the mana for it. We have only one big way of doing that. We've already got stuff that costs a lot with our cannons. Hmm. And then Mystic Renewal. Discard your hand, lose all mana, gain Frenzy. Oh, additional turn after this one. Huh. So you can do stuff, then if you still have five mana left, you can get a new turn. Okay. Hmm. Intriguing. Frostbite. What does that do? Every turn, gain three fixed frost and take three fixed damage. It takes double damage if you are frozen. Okay. And retain. Don't go to the discard pile, which is nice. We can save this for a good time. Uh, and then crystallize. Increase damage taken. Status received by 5% per rank. Not reduced at end of turn. We'll take Frost Fracture. That seems the safest play with our current cannon stuff. Do I event or do I smack? This is the question. And I think we event. Along your trail you find a small cairn with a statuette on it. A few scattered curios like this one can be found in the Aether, created over the years by spiritual adventurers. Surprisingly, they seem to slowly gather magical energy. So meditate, will you tell me what you do? Ooh! Okay, well. Mana boost buff times four. Start the next four fights with mana boost five. Okay, and we gained XP. Seems pretty nice. All right then. Well. I guess we've learned. <laughs> so yeah, I start with eight mana right now, which is decent, decent. We have a shatter, we have an ice blast and a chill, and a chilling focus. We don't need to use weary concentration, probably, but I could be wrong. Hmm. Hmm. So we can do... Chilling focus. Chill your face. Shatter you, or we can ice blast something. Uh, what's attacking? You're attacking right now? Yeah. And then we can shatter you. That seems fine. And then we don't need weary concentration unless we want the mana. So at least one of our cards drawn would be costing more. Hmm. So I think we don't use it. It looks like we're gaining six mana instead of four mana now. All right. Hmm. So we can flash brawn. Uh, I am currently mana boosted. It's not a debuff, okay. Hmm. Pierce does what, 12 damage to you, and then we can deal 18 with our magic blast. That seems fine. I can actually do a little bit extra stuff with Flash Brawn, I think, right? Hmm. Right? 11 and 17, so 11 to everything. Okay, I'm going to chill and focus. And I will take a little bit of damage here. Just a little bit. Okay. Hmm. Now what do we want? Frost Fracture? Hmm. Hmm. So Pierce will deal eight damage don't have a good way of gaining any more frost so I think we block 
and then I think we'll do this for that one HP just because we can pierce you. This one seems more dangerous, honestly, though. Let's do that. Hmm. Try this. We get another free pierce. Or not free. Eight damage. Eh. Eh. Maybe we do that. Just in case we can't get a better card. Okay. We take some more damage. We have, you know, one more health than we would have if we hadn't healed, right? So, totally worth it. Uh, hmm. I could flash brawn and then... This. That seems pretty good. Victory. Oh, alright then. Hmm, choose another card. Icy Concentration, gain mana, gain two more mana if an enemy is frozen. Seems pretty good. Apply shock to something if we were doing shock. Or another shatter. <laughs> we only draw one shatter whenever an enemy becomes frozen. That's something to keep in mind. We don't really want too many shatters then. Let's take Icy Concentration. We've already got our better shatter anyway. So, yeah. And then, is this an elite? This is an elite. Let's do it. Okay. It is currently my turn. My mana boost. Wait, do I keep mana boost forever? And it's just five turns it wears off? Huh. I don't know. Don't know. I do care, but I don't know. We want to free something if we can. Hmm. Let's freeze you. Then we can shatter. Get our icy concentration and stuff. Yeah. Here's icy concentration. Okay. Um. Yeah, we don't need to spend any of that stuff. Let's see if we can get 15 mana or not. I bet we cap at 12. But no, we can get 15. Okay. Cool. Let's see. Uh, be nice to see what our maximum mana is. Maybe it is 16. Hmm. Okay, and it does let us know we can have a max of 10 cards. Okay. So, that is a thing. Hmm. Let's gain some block. We deal 15 to you, so that's worth it. You have evasion right now, huh? Okay, okay. Hmm. It's chilling focus, then mana shield. So we get four more shield. Do I cleansing shield? No real reason not to? Other than it's pointless? Okay, well, let's see what our max mana is, I guess. Uh, you're getting more powerful. It is 16, okay. Good to know. And it does look like we go back down, and then back up. So we go back down to 10, and then we get our plus 6. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, well, we can Ice Blast. Evade 100% chance, though. Hmm. I don't like that. Do you keep your evasion, or does it go away after I attack? That's important to note. Evade the next attack. Okay. So, we want to do this to get rid of your evasion. Then we want to do that. Get our shatter. Chilling focus. Focus. And I'll mint. Because there's no reason not to. Oh, and I could have gotten my cannons out. What am I thinking? Derp. Okay. Well, let's see. Frost Fracture, I just want to see. Can we make it super worth it? It's not like it's not worth it. It's just, yeah. Hard to see it do exactly what I want, I suppose. Maybe we just need to have things frozen first for the crystallized to pay off. So we can Monster Card, Impale, Mind Blast, or more Cleansing Shield. Uh, let's try to reroll. We have one reroll horseshoe thing. Hmm. Six times two damage to the first enemy. Well, that's pretty decent damage. And it's two attacks. Hmm. But do I reroll looking for a frost card? This is an elite fight, so in theory it's good. Let's see. Oh, okay. We get a different monster card. 
Gain two mana, gain evasion seems pretty good. Gain adept, mana boost, and growth. Okay, yeah, we will take meditate. Okie dokie. Away we will go. You found someone's backpack and sleeping mat here. It's long abandoned. Who knows what creature drove them to flee and leave everything behind? Loot! They left a lot of loot behind in a hurry. That's a lucky find. Oh, we got all that energy again. Hmm. Crap. Delicate bracers. Evade chance plus 5%. You can evade statuses. That seems really good before a boss fight. Yeah. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so if we were worried about not being able to beat the boss, we could then worry about stuff. It's nice that they have this flash a lot, uh, since there's no reason not to use this before a boss fight. Hmm. You find yourself a quiet place to spend the night. After so much time in the Aether, you feel empowered by a strong magical energy. So now we can get more energy for our artifact. Or we can gain a temporary buff. Since we need 72 to get our next item, let's get the buff. Because I bet, just like double bet or something, we get toughness. Okay, or tough for the next five fights. Yeah, okay, no, yeah. here we go. Glad we have those buffs, that's pretty nice. Okay, what does tough do for us? Hmm, decreased damage taken in status. Ooh, by 25%, okay. So that's pretty nice. Hmm. So we want to chill somebody. I really want to chill somebody. And it's not enough. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay, we can get a Pierce made for two, since, yeah, they have to be frozen for that to work. It's probably worth it. Pierce. Icy concentration for some more mana. And yeah, we'll take it. Okay. So I think these guys would be dealing five damage if I didn't have the tough bonus. Oh, and now they're getting tougher. Uh, not good. Not good at all. Hmm. Chilling focus, two frost. I think we can start with that. Let's do this first, though. Then block. Mana shield. Shatter for 16. Might as well do it on this one. It's already closer to dead. Okay. Uh, uh. Well, now we know why it's a boss fight. <laughs> they keep getting buffed. I didn't get my good combo immediately. Hmm, we have Mana Blast. That's nice. We have Ice Blast. Two frost isn't enough anyway. Hmm. I think we do. Hmm. I think we want to get you frozen. Shatter you for damage. I don't think we can deal enough to deal with two of these guys, so we'll do a little bit of this, and I'll do that for the mana. Cleansing shield, do I need you? Well, get rid of my arcane. I don't think it will, right? But if it does... Okay, no. It does not get rid of our arcane status bar. Unfortunate. Uh, dispelled. Okay. But at least we still have 10 shield. We haven't taken any health damage yet. Oh, meditate. Good. Good, good, good. Are you a mana card? You're a skill card. Okay. 
focus at the end if we can. We can go ahead and KO you. That seems fine. Oh, they get more powerful. Oh. Oh, right. Because that was this first thing. One of the reasons why I was hoping to try to get them all down at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Mistakes were made. Uh, we will now focus our energy. Our max mana is now 13, thanks to our Meditate. Okay. Keep getting weakened. Hmm. Shatter should go shortly. Yes, yes. We'll do this. That. Perfect. Shatter is now free upon you. You can now chill somebody else. Let's do that to this arcane user. Uh, it's not enough. Great. Great, 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 great. Okay. Well, this will be painful. Yep. Oh, all right. Not as painful as I thought, though. That's pretty nice. Huh. So I can Cleansing Shield. Get rid of one of those weakened stacks. That's only one stack of it, though. Interesting. Hmm. Go ahead and do this. Get our free shatter. We can then use our frost fracture. See what crystallize actually does this time. Which we've seen before in its tooltip, but yeah, okay. So does that mean it's got 12 stacks of crystallize? Hmm. Where concentration? There we go. Okay. Well there's only one left. But I think what you want to do for this boss is try to have a bunch of AoE. Seems to be the best thing is kill them all at once. Hmm. Flash Brawn seems nice. Focus if we get there. Because why not? I see concentration. And then we'll wait. We still have access to our cannons. I've got to remember that. Now we can afford both cannons. It seems like a decent time for it, actually, so we will go ahead, drag these out, because I believe we will get there. Well, it's chilling focus. Ice blast, shatter, yes, and we've cheapened these cannon blasts a lot, which is good. Cannon. Cannon! Firing my cannons. That worked. Okay, we got through that with the default deck. In the future, we can change out cards. There's like a limit to how many of different rarities, I think. But uh, yeah, we made it through. That's pretty good. Continue. Ooh. Looks like we got enough for a level up. So new cards unlocked. You can now edit your starting deck. Cool. We can get Frost Nova. You have Frost Spite 4 to all enemies, apply 3, Fixed Frost to yourself, interesting. Flash Freeze, choose any enemy, if it's frozen, draw 2, if the Frost Bar is empty, apply 32 Frost. That just seems amazing. And then Biting Cold, deal 15 damage to all enemies with Frost Bite. So there's our AoE that we could have had. Well, great. Hmm. Okay then. Now we're in the town. Welcome to the town. Here you can find various buildings to make your otherworldly travels a more pleasant experience. The forge allows you to purchase permanent upgrades for your heroes. The market allows you to purchase items before a run to give you a better chance of success. The bounties board provides you with a constant stream of bounties to complete for Aether. Aether lets you open card packs. You can tap here to view the cards you have unlocked so far, as well as monster cards that you have encountered. Finally, you can unlock new cards by opening packs with Aether. If you have enough to open two packs now, you should try. So as I understand, this is starting cards, I think, or cards we can even find during the runs. Not entirely certain. I gain Frost Rune 2, draw one spell or strike. You have Frostbite 3 to the first two enemies and apply 5 Frost to them. Seems really good for an AoE Frost build. Martial Prism. Gain tough and powerful this turn. Create a temporary slash or block for one? That seems pretty good. Okay. Hmm. What else would I use my Aether for, I wonder? You've unlocked the Guild Hall. This is where you can access the game's quests. Quests are unique adventures that will allow you to unlock new cards as well as some crucial progression elements like the depth system. 
you currently have access to one quest, Forest Investigation. Completing this quest will unlock Depth 2, which allows you to go deeper into the Aether when starting a new run and face stronger foes. So if I remember correctly, that's basically the Ascension system. Yeah. 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 Song of Crystal. Hmm. Okay. So we can check out that Forest Investigation. Let's check the Forge first. So yes, this is money. We can have bonus energy with our artifacts. We can get our trinkets earlier. Hmm. More choices when you receive an item reward seems really good. Oh, begin every run with more supplies. You can get what looks like up to four max, maybe. Hmm. Restore health at the end of every fight seems really good. So I'd rather save money for that. Increase your max health. Oh, it's only one health at the end of every fight. Up to four. It's not terrible, though. See, enemy composition of upcoming fights seems really fun. And increase your max health and recoverable health. Huh. Okay. Intriguing. Hmm. Now, it looks like Aether Boosters, if you upgrade it all the way, will probably start you out with a trinket during your run. That's nice. Hmm. But yeah, I think I'm going to save up for now, since it's not difficult enough to really dip into our health pool yet, in theory. Market stalls. Ah, you can purchase items before runs. Not terribly concerned about that yet. Draw extra cards. Yeah, we didn't really have a good draw deck. Uh, it gives us 50 Aether. We can unlock another bounty slot. Yes, let's do that immediately. Deal damage to shocked enemies, so we want to build a shock deck if possible. Okay, so we might check that out next time, dear viewer, if you're enjoying Breach Wanderers. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're enjoying this. And I hope you, dear viewer, have a great day.